All right, so today we're gonna to discuss the five symptoms or ways of knowing you're consuming too much protein, okay? Number one, foamy urine, okay? This is a situation where you have uh, protein spilling off into the urine. Normally, um, you don't have a lot of protein in the urine. You shouldn't have anything, maybe just this very small amount. So if there's protein in the urine, it could become foamy. Now, if you have protein in the urine, Potentially, it could be liver disease, but it could also mean you're just consuming too much protein. Cut it back and see if it goes away. Because your kidneys actually filter about 180 liters of fluid every single day. I mean, think about it. Maybe you consume two liters of fluid. Your kidneys are filtering it all day long. So it's filtering the blood over and over and over, and only a tiny 2% of it is excreted as urine. So there's, it's very, very efficient. So if you have too much protein, you can overload the kidneys, overload the uh, liver, and it can spill off into the urine. Number two, gout, okay? Now, usually gout is a liver or kidney problem, okay? But if you're adding more protein to it, uh, you can get an incomplete protein breakdown and, and generate too much uric acid and, and, and create these gout crystals. Number three, decrease appetite. Okay, that could be one of the symptoms. Number four, fluid retention or edema. You may see a little swelling or even in your ankle, some pitting edema. You press into your ankle and it kind of leaves a dent in there. Um, and number five, fatigue. Okay, so these are the five symptoms of consuming too much protein. Now, let's say, for example, you're on one meal a day, OMAD, and you're fasting, okay? And you're eating more protein than you should. Well, what happens is like you have, if you're eating one meal a day, you have like 23 hours to fast and you have so much repair going on, you could probably get away with it very easily without creating any problem to the kidney or liver because the benefits of that fasting are huge just for in repair in general. So if you're just eating that one meal, you could do a good amount of protein, more than usual. But typically it's good to consume a moderate amount of protein. Not too little, not too much, just an average amount between like three to six, maybe up to eight ounces per meal. Okay, depending on your, um, your age, depending on your digestive system, depending how big you are. Okay, but this is the range that uh, seems to work out best. All right, I'll see you in the next video. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.